talk to the man himself. Lamar, come on out and join us, my friend. You know, I told you this in person, I'm proud of you. Thank you. You've been through a lot, and I just want you to tell all these people how you're feeling. I feel great. I feel great. It's, um, it's new, but it's good to be sober. It's good to be sober. It's new, but I'm working every day at it. When you walked out here, I want to ask you what you just felt, because, you know, no one knows how much work you put in. And, you know, I've, I've been blessed to kind of see this, this process that you put yourself through to get to this place. But what went through your mind when you walked out there? Because uh, I thought I was in the stable center for a short period. It felt good. I thank you guys for the welcoming. You've talked a lot about going through the process of concern that people might resent you or you might resent yourself. Are you on the other side of that now? Because you've been in treatment before, but do you feel like it's different this time? Yeah, um, because when I went into treatment before, I was a boy. And when I left treatment this time, I left a man. It just, I mean, in order to get through this process, I had to tap in you know, on the inside, mm -hmm. to see who I really was and what I was really made up of. And I was able to do that on the inside. It was a spiritual journey for me as well, to find my higher power and, and get, become closer to him. Here we are. You have your sobriety. You've been through a lot. But what is your main focus now? Going forward, when you look at your life ahead of you, what are you looking forward to? Honestly? I want my wife back. Yeah. <laughs> but um, other than that, you know, I just want to, you know, live a healthy, happy life. You talked a lot about family and how important that was to you. Yeah. And you talked about a breakthrough with your kids. Yeah, because, with, you know, when you're doing drugs, you become distant from everything, even your feelings. You become numb to everything. And just to kind of reinstall, you know, what we had as a family was important to me. And when you said to get your wife back, tell me, tell me about that. Uh, well, Chloe is, is important to me. She's been through all of this with me, and she stood right by my side. So I would just want to repay her. I was talking about how you're a basketball star and, quite frankly, a transcendent star just in the world of entertainment and how I can't imagine how bright that light is. It's bright. And you, and you acknowledge that that became too much to handle, and so... Yeah, yeah I mean, I wouldn't point to, to blame in anyone's direction but myself, you know? I mean, when you're dealing with something like addiction, you know, I know now that it's a brain disease, and that was important for me to know. But my life has always been in front of the media and, and scrutiny. So it's something that by now I should have down pat on how to deal with it. You know, you mentioned Chloe and everyone else. What, what would you say to her and to them? Well, um, to my family and to Chloe, I just want to tell them that I'm sorry for all that wasted time and wasted energy that, um, you know, in my addiction, I just, I didn't know who I was, you know. So I couldn't take care of myself. I damn sure couldn't take care of anybody else. If you had one regret, obviously beyond the fact that you literally nearly killed yourself, mm. what, what would be that? the biggest regret. Waste of time yeah. that I missed out with my children, man, because you can't never get that back. 